Let me uh, inform you in English. As recently, I've been informing the public that Yosef Bahura Tabasirua Museven, he was ordered by his own witch doctors that if you want to still continue to hide the information or to hide to hide the information and to And to hide the truth about and who killed Jacob Olanya, he should do some rituals. Which rituals he was ordered to bring the body of Jacob Olanya before he handles the body to his family. Which Museven did two weeks back on Friday, like two weeks back, which he did, he brought the dead body of Jacob Olanya to Jesus' farm. But he was he, he, himself Museven and the five witch doctors two from tanzania two from congo and one from benin and lastly with Sylvia mokando the one known as mama fina but there was another boy who had been working at jesus farm for a long period of time by names apuli joffrey after all the rituals apuli joffrey was added on those rituals because Museven was told that this boy might go somewhere and, and expose all what we did. So he was advised by his witch doctors that a poor Godfrey as well must be killed and sacrificed to complete the mission of bewitching and bewitching. Olanya's family and all Ugandans. So the family of Apoli Joffre, please be aware that your son is among the people who were killed in this process of bewitching Ugandans from avoiding knowing the truth and sacrifice on behalf of Museven so that he can hide the truth from Ugandans and Jacob Olanya's family. And this message goes to all our brothers and sisters in northern Uganda. Please, I know it is very sad at the moment, but if you are to do all the rituals regarding to wake up Jacob Olanya's ghost to hunt the killers, please include all those ones who helped in doing all those rituals. Let Jacob Olanya hunt the people who killed him. Let Jacob Olanya also hunt the people who were involved in all the rituals, all the sacrifices they made at Museveni's farm. Including Slivia Namotele, the song known as Mama Fina, or Slivia Mukandon, and other people. Please, if you are doing all those rituals to wake up Jacob Olanya's ghost, please including those who helped Museven in those rituals. Because we need to expose Museven and his regime. He had been doing all this all along. He kills his servants then after. He come afraid as the chief mourner, but indeed is the person who behind all the soul atrocities. So I call upon the Jacob Olanya's family, please, when you are doing all the rituals, please include all those who helped Museveni to kill Jacob Olanya or to hide the information. Please, including all those people, including that woman, let her be exposed. Let her be exposed. And let the Jacob Olanya's ghost wake and hunt for his assassin including Yosef Bahura Tabasola, the son of Kareches. At, at this time, I'm begging, very, I'm, I'm begging the family of Jacob Olanya. The other time, when they killed, when Kanyamunyo killed your son, Kanyamunyo came back to request for forgiveness. But at this time, even if Museveni and his family or other people come to apologize, don't agree, don't accept. Let them suffer until they are dead. I know it's good to forgive or forgiveness, but this time around, we should expose these people. Even if they come with the billions of money, let them face what they did. Don't forgive anyone at this particular moment. Please let them face what they did.